how do you find an area of a sector? For an area of the sector, it's very similar to the length of arc. So if it's in degrees, you again divide by 360 because the whole circle is 360. And what's the whole area of a circle? Pi r squared. So you get the proportion of the arc or a sector they're looking for, and you multiply by the area of a circle. Here, it's the same thing. It's theta, the radian out of. Instead of 360, it's 2 pi in radian, and you multiply by the area. So number one, circle O has a radius of 10. And what is the area of the circle? So they're asking for the whole area of a circle. So it's area equals to what? Pi r squared, which is pi. 10 squared, which is 100 pi centimeter squared. What is the area of the half of circle? You divide that by 2, which is 50 pi. If, if we use a formula, what do we do? It is. Half of the circle means what? It's 180 degrees divided by 360 times half of circle is 180. And you do pi r squared, which is the area which we found here already. 100 pi. So this is half. Half of 100 pi is 50 pi in centimeters squared. What about a quarter? So it's a quarter of 100 pi, which is 25 pi centimeters squared. If you use the formula, what's a quarter of a circle? That is 90, right? So 90 divided by 360 times pi r squared, which is 100 pi, which equals to what? One fourth. Okay. So number five, circle O has a minor arc AB, which is 60 degrees. And AOB has an area of 24 centimeters. So this is AOB. What is the radius? So the area is given, which is 24 pi. The form, and the formula for the area of a sector is the angle divided by 360 times pi r squared, the area of the whole circle, and here you're looking for the radius. So what would you do? Divide by pi's on both sides, and you, if you can, simplify this fraction. What is 60 divided by 360, isn't it? 1 6 times pi r squared. Pi, we got rid of that already. So then what do you do to get rid of 1 6? You multiply by 6 on both sides. So you get 6 times 24 is 144. 6 times 24 is 144. So 144 equals to what? R squared. So you square root on both sides to get 12. Yes. So your radius is 12. What? Oh, there is no units. So you can just write units. If it was in centimeters square, you will write centimeters there. Okay. Let's try this one. The area of a sector AOB in the image below is 28 pi centimeters square, which is an X. That's find the measure of the central angle X. That's what we're looking for. 360 times what? The area of a circle, which is pi. R, what's the radius? 12 squared. So you do the same thing, divide by pi's on both sides, get rid of it, and multiply by 360 to get rid of the denominator first. So what's 360 times 28? 360 times 28, that's 10,080 equals 2. What's 12 squared? It's 144 times x. So now you divide by 144 on both sides. So you get that divided by 144. That's 70. So that is 70 degrees for the center angle right here. Okay, number eight. In the figure below, circle O has a radius of eight. This is eight. 8, 8, the radius. And measurement of AOC, AOC right here is 108. And the arc length of AB 
is AB and AC is 10. That means this is also 108, right? Because the arc length correspond to the center angle. And if they have the same arc length, that means they have the same triangles. So find AOB, which is 108, same as the other one. What's the length of BC? So BC, you have to use this measure, which will be 360 minus 108 minus 108, which is 360 minus 108 minus 108, because the whole circle is 360. So that's 144 degrees. So what do you do for the arc length? It's 144 divided by 360 times what? Arc length is the circumference you multiply by 2 pi r, which was 8. So just leave pi outside. It's 144 divided by 360 times 2 times 8, which is 16. So we get 6.4 pi centimeters. What's the area of the sector AOC? So you do the same thing. It's 144 out of 360, but now it's the area, so you multiply by pi r squared. So just bring pi outside. It's 144 divided by 360 times 8 squared, which is 64. 8 times 8 is 64, so you get 25 points. Six centimeters square.